Welcome back. So far, we have been able to import the CSV file and show the errors as well as import users. But we want to make a few changes and make the errors a little more presentable. So let us see. If we import the file, this is my CSV. I hit upload button and I get this. All right. Now, first things first. The sequence is wrong. All right, so what we will do is we will correct that sequence. So in PHP Storm, why don't we add ksalt this error rules? What this will do is sort this by the keys. Okay, that's what we want. Now the next thing is we want to sh show the user this particular thing in a little more presentable way right so how do we do that let us see we are doing a dump over here let's just remove that and instead have a table okay these are some of the things, some of the classes which we are going to add and no padding. Now, first we need to display all the um, columns which is name, email and message. Okay, so th and in that our th will be inside a for each loop. I'll take the first element. Because I know that typically all the rows will have similar kind of uh, you know value, so we can go with that for now. So we will do uc first, and we'll print the key. Okay, so that will take care of the three columns: name, email, and message, and they will be in capital letters: T, E, N, and M. Next thing is this is my head and then T body. Okay, in T body I'll have T R and then a T D and now this T R will be in one for each loop. Okay. All right, and I'll print it here. Now the TD, I'm not very sure how many TDs I have. So I'll again have to do a for each for the TD. So for each value as dollar data. Okay, once I do that, TD dollar data okay let's just align them a bit and see if everything is correct or not so I have a first for each that's correct and then this all right seems to be correct now let's try it out I hit the upload button and as you can see this is a nice way of representing all the errors which is currently there in the you know, CSV file so yeah and obviously because this is in a session so if I hit refresh it will go away yeah so yeah that's a better way of doing it I'm thinking of you know, finding out an way so that I can give the user an option to edit these records here so that I can insert the records which are correct and I can then correct the records which are wrong and save them or download all the records which are incorrect as a CSV file and then correct them and re-upload. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos on this series. If you like the videos, do click on the thumbs up icon 
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.